Bonjour, I am Chef Bernard from the Marine Room in La Jolla, and today I'm going to show you how to put a seafood platter together. Now you have to understand, I am from Brittany, pretty much born and raised on the Brittany coast in the water with my father, my family, we would go fishing all the time. So this is something that was really close to my heart. So what you want to do is you want to have some beautiful ice, crushed ice, or even just if you have some ice cube at the house, and you're able to, to layer it into a deep platter, very important deep platter. And you put a little bit of salt. The salt really slows down the melting of the ice. And then you just build it together. What I like to do is to start with my shrimp. And you have to play with the colors at the same time. So you really can have a great time doing this. Now, this is a great platform, actually, to teach the kids how to put food together. So if you have little ones and you want to teach them about nutrition, about food, about the oceans, it's a great way to do it. Then we'll take some crab claws. I'm going to put them right over here. I like to have a break into the colors itself. Then from here, we have some gorgeous clams. So those are just perfect for, I would say, almost like a ceviche style. Et voila, right over here. Oysters. Mm delicious oysters. Make sure that your oysters are nice and fresh. And remember when you are shopping to always have an ice chest in the back of your car because like this you will be able to really keep your shellfish live and very, very fresh. Now, we'll add those to this. Let me, let me look. Beautiful already. Now, we'll add some mussels on a half shells. So you can put a couple like over here if you want to. So it is a seafood platter. It doesn't have to be perfect. It just has to be fun. It's got to be easy to use. And at the same time, it has to be beautiful. We'll add a couple more shrimp over here. More mussels over here. So you can nestle the mussel into the, into the ice. And then for the finishing touch, of course, what would happen at my house, my dad would bring the beautiful crab that we have right over here, for example, and put it like right over here. Now, isn't that gorgeous? Couple of claws, and you go, wow, that's a lot. But you know, it's all about the presentation. Remember, you share this with your friends. And then, yes, a little Omar. Now, for this, you're gonna say, woo, is this gonna travel? Check this out. If you travel with me, it will travel with you all the way to the dining room and everybody will have a feast. Great way to do it, you want to finish it with some, something really, really cool, which is a lemon crown. So for the lemon crown, check this out. I'm gonna move this a little bit over here and then what you want to do is you, you want to cut your lemon into a zigzag. So straight, bias. And you go all the way around. And of course, Lemons from the farmer's market. They're not the prettiest one, but I got to tell you, they are the tastiest one. They're the one that have the more juice. You cut all the way through. Can you hear my knife touching the, the bottom of the, uh, the cutting board? Okay, one more and one more. And black magic, look. Et voila. Now we're going to put this little guy right over here. The other one right over here. And we get some, some greens. Now, in Brittany, for example, we would put some seaweed because we keep the kelp to keep the oysters really nice and fresh, but parsley, very safe, very clean, and voila, just right over here. Now, ladies and gentlemen, you should come to my house. There is a party going on, and it is a seafood platter. It's very important that shellfish are consumed immediately after they are dished up on a bed of ice. That's the way that my family always did. And look at me, strong and healthy. Ooh la la. Mm -hmm.